Heidi artist friends, photographers, painters who never did Artivive before and want to do it the first time. It's not that hard, I will show you um, the first steps, how to get started with a video and to upload it to Artivive Bridge. And first we're gonna register on Artivive.com. So you go to register as an artist here. And if you've done that, you get full access to the Artivive Bridge. And here you can upload your uh, projects, you can put them into folders. You start pressing this button, so you get into this interface. And this is the whole thing you need for doing the basic tool in Artivive to upload a project. It's based on one image, so this is going to be the image you want to track. So it's maybe your painting or your photography. And you're going to also upload a video. Okay, so how to do the simplest way of uh, a video form is to make a stop motion. And stop motion is a simple trick to do frame by frame, a, a bit of a change. And I show you my project which is a painting which I recorded each step and made the animation out of that. So that's quite the simplest version. They should have all the same size, yes? So that's important, that they not in different uh, sizes, so because then it doesn't really work. And the other thing is that the, the naming should be a counting number until from, I would use zero until the end frame, so in my case it's 131. And if you've done that, we can jump into DaVinci Resolve. It's for free and it doesn't matter which kind of uh, system you have, it's working on each. So we are in DaVinci Resolve now. We're gonna start with a new project. And I will name it Artivive Tutorial. So one. Okay, this is the interface of DaVinci Resolve how it works. This is the preview of your animation and there you have the video so you can up upload the video here and this is your timeline. The easiest way to do that um, because we have a PNG sequence is I want to use the folder and yeah track it into it and I make this a little bit bigger here so you can change the preview and as you can see, it's already in a video. So we have our frame-by-frame -frame animation already set. What happens now? You put it into the timeline and then here will pop up the timeline. I will name that first anim. Yeah, this is our first anim. So that we can recognize it because now it's the same image. So we have these black parts here. So because the image sequence is actually smaller, then the size of the video. So we're gonna go to File, Project Settings, and we'll put that to the size we want. So it's 280 multiplied by 800. So we change the size. 1080 800. It's fine. Okay, and save. Let's play that. DaVinci Resolve has also a lot of tools to change, but we just go to deliver. So, because we are done for now, I think it's okay for now for the first project. Okay, so this interface shows you how to render. You can render it to uh, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. But we actually need, um, we need an MP4 for web. And we also want to name it. So let's say I call it Archivify. Then we choose a location. And I will choose my folder I prepared. That's my video. I put it here. Okay. And then I look up. It's the same size. Uh, it's 24 frames per second. And that's actually it. I can add it to the render check and start render. And actually this is our first video done. This is how it will look like in Artivive. 
So as I said, to go to add project, there we are. And now we select a file. We have a PNG file that works. We use this. This is our target image. And we select our project, uh, our video. There we go. Okay, that sometimes takes a while. Okay. Um, here are some tools we, I can use. So if I don't have a tracking image, I can use the first frame of this, which in that case is the same. So we don't need that. And there's also a possibility to use the transparency mode. Then, uh, yeah, the important is to name it. So I will name it um, tutorial one. Yes. And here you can also add your artwork info. I add a name, so that's me, little. Then this is tutorial uh, art number zero one. And I add my address uh, to it. That's my address. Okay. You can also use your Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account to add. For now, I'm okay just adding my, my website. So done. So this set, this is a tool where you can say um, you need the headphone mode. So it, if you have sound, then this would only trigger if you have the headphones on, otherwise it's silent. This is a tool. And commercial use, yeah, we don't need to get into that. And if you add the add button, it will take us a little bit to think about and review everything and be happy that we did our first project. So congratulations if you get that far. Uh, I hope I could help you with this. We will be back in two seconds, minutes. <laughs> it takes some time until it's uploaded. Okay, it's there. Now the project is finished. You see, um, we have all the information we need. We see the recognition speed. That means the image is really highly uh, recognizable. If this is not the case, like here, this is this project. It has only two stars. That means that the, um, that the app is not recognizing the image because the image contrast is not, too high. It's not that high. Minimum for, uh, let's say, three stars, but the best is four to five. Okay, and there we see that this has the name when it was uh, done. And then here we can have a preview and see our video again. It works. If you want to download the image, you can do that here. Um, there you can go back to the edit mode. And this is our statistics, which is uh, just started in 00, zero, but it will change for sure if you upload your image. And you can also delete it. Okay, that's all I have to say about the first tutorial. We did our project and now we can test it. Mm -hmm.